Papi tu sabi ni sasa na nami SNL akadiri tuli acha sana dive in on one of the tweets that I saw. So there were ladies who were cutting money just to design their nails. As we all know, our ladies they like to look good and we appreciate that. And also it makes them feel you know good about themselves and and so on and so forth. Ne? But otherwise, uh, the thing that made me do this video is because of the legality or the consequences that I believe maybe some of the ladies who are doing this are not aware of it. Ne? So very quickly, but here, so this video is not to bash anyone, this video is not to undermine anyone, and this video is actually not to tell you what to do with your life as an adult or as a mind. But we have to understand something. We live in a world where there are rules and there are regulations and there are policies. Ne? Otherwise, you cannot just wake up and decide what I mean. I just want to get married to a tiger or a lion or a goat. It doesn't happen like that. We all know if you want to get married, you must be married to another human being. You can't just say, I mean, I just want to marry a tiger because maybe I have money. So because of that, we always need to try to live within those rules and regulations. So again, I need to emphasize on this, Buffett. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, but I just want to tell you, Ubuti, there's another side of the coin that you might not be aware of. Ne? So now, very important note, I'm just going to go through some boring information, but it's very important. Please do pay attention. And also, if you know of anyone who has done this and you've seen it, you might even share the video with them because this video will be informative and definitely i'm sure by the end of the video you guys will see the other side of the coin that i was actually trying to show you so south african reserve bank was founded on the 30th of june 1921 so if we do our calculations this organization organization is very old and could be on their hundreds and something if i'm not making a mistake you know? And then also, they are responsible for formulating and implementing SA monetary policy. So, monetary policies in South Africa, these are the people who are responsible for that. You know? These guys are also responsible to tell us about our inflation and also interest rates, you know, to tell us based on the economy, how is it going, and then they will tell us, okay, this will be our interest rate for this quarter. Or we're going to increase our inflation by so much because of one two three and four reasons in the economy of south africa so these are very important people in our country so the south african reserve bank board of directors is employed by the south african president and the finance minister but however they need the national assembly to approve of the appointment so basically it's a collective decision based on those organizations or individuals again south african president south african finance minister these are very serious people ne? and then south african reserve bank guys is an independent organization but however they have to report to the south african parliament and the south african government ne? And then also things now that could be consequences of destroying money. Mind you, our money, which is the, the, the rent, they also call it that. It's the property of the South African Reserve Bank. These are the guys who have the printing machine of money. These are the guys who are regulating the circulation of money in South Africa, our currency, which is rent. Right, and I'm still waiting for them to respond to my message. I have actually sent them a message on Twitter asking about the prices of uh, the printing machines because I'm interested. I'm not sure where in China did they get them, but I am interested, you know. I think even one of you guys will co-sign me on this one. It would be nice to own a printing machine of money. Ne? So now, destroying money note or bank note intentionally is a criminal offense and can result to legal consequences destroying money so you cutting money so you can design your nails that could be considered as you destroying money the other thing 
if someone intentionally destroys the South African bank note, it is a criminal offense. You can be charged and prosecuted. One of the things that can happen to you, you could be fined, imprisonment, uh, depending on how severe those notes were destroyed. Amen? And then also they say damage notes may not be accepted by banks or other financial institutions. But however, accidentally damaged banknotes such as tearing, burning, this can actually be accepted by banks and also the South African Reserve Bank so that that money could be replaced. You understand? So the one that you cut and decide to which you just want to design release, then is not accidental and that money cannot be taken back so it could be replaced. So that basically means when you have decided to put it out of the supply of money that the South African Reserve Bank have given South Africa when I'm just cutting these notes and taking it out. So I'm not sure where you get those powers and I'm not sure if you do have I'm an advocate or lawyers in your corner that can defend you about such a powerful organization if you are messing with their property. Remember, very important note, the law is very hard on poor people. When I'm speaking about poor people, Bluma Nami now, me and him. I'm not speaking about the guy on the street. The law is very hard on poor people. Great example, you guys know that lady who received millions from Nesfaz and started living a soft life. We all know what happened to her. And most of us and some of us, we feel the law was actually hard on her they could have done it maybe the other way or maybe there was there could have been a better judgment just to discipline them rather than just doing what they did so every time when you cut the 200 rand note and that 100 rand note please think about that lady that's in this past who child millions that were deposited in her account of which maybe now or even myself we would have done the same way the same thing but we would have done it differently obviously because tina we have better financial literacy and we try to educate ourselves in terms of how to manage the finance and then again Bafetu, Sen Puma, i will emphasize this this video is not to bash anyone but it's just to show you the other side of the coin and hopefully Message Yamin is on receiver with good heart and also open minds just for you to understand what I'm trying to convey or the message that I'm trying to actually give you and show you the other side of the coin. Eh? So last but not least, trust me, you don't want to mess with the South African Reserve Bank. You don't want to mess with an organization that prints money of the country. Eh? Otherwise, you can put some fees in jail about it to, to end invest and spend it. There's a reason why I don't make people spend it money after, after us to invest it. Please do drop me a comment. Just tell me what you think about the video and also the story that I was actually uh, talking about. Looking forward guys to your engagement and also Mubang Shilo. If your sister, if Bewako is doing this in Jita, then you better start preparing to get the good lawyers and attorneys and um, advocates in your corner so you can defend yourself. Mind you, you are defending yourself against an organization that is printing money when you have to work for money and wait for the payday in a salary when I buy a printer. So I don't see you winning against this one, innit? Otherwise it's on Bunawila and Dawa Fetu down.